Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. This video is a 30k special video and I do have a lot of answers to your question as well as there is a special announcement with this video that will help you to earn at LearnCode online. And yes, that's a great news because we are about to host some of the project based things and we will award that, those projects to the students who are enrolled at LearnCode online as well as we are going to host some competitions that will be available for all the people learn code online as well as all the youtubers and there is going to be a prize money involved as well so let's get started and talk in a little bit more detail about what that all is coming up When I started this channel, there was no such expectation that I'm going to be hitting a mark of 30,000. I was expecting in a range of 5,000 to 10,000 that this is going to be where my channel is going to stay because programming community is a very small community. It's not like a big community. Now, a lot of people does a mistake in understanding uh, the community that what we are building in this channel with other channels as well. Now, there are hundreds and hundreds of tech channel around and all those channels they, that they are focusing on is really a good thing. They are focusing on uh, mobile domains, unboxing the things and talking about what's happening latest in the tech. They are also tech channel. But inside the tech channel, I have actually uh, picked up a very niche domain here uh, that is very small community of programmers. Yes, all those other people are tech as well. They are they love just technology and gadgets, but this channel is not about those gadgets and everything. And there are a lot of other YouTubers who are doing a pretty amazing job in unboxing the things like Unbox Therapy, MKBHD, and a lot of other guys. This channel was much more oriented about programming. And to my surprise, uh, I didn't know that a lot of people want to learn programming and are interested in that. And uh, thanks to that, we have now grown into a family of 30,000 subscribers. And all thanks to you because it's because of you only. Now, to my surprise, one of the subscribers actually wrote down in the comment section below that you have hit 20,000 from 20,000 to 30,000 subscribers in just 10 days. And I would call this as a really welcome surprise because uh, th that's really a fast number of growing up the things. So I will answer a couple of questions that is being thrown at me pretty regularly. So this is kind of a Q&A session as well as there is an announcement of upcoming few competitions so that you can start preparing right now, can start learning right now and can earn reward money of that. So let's first take the Q&A section. Now, one of the questions that is pretty common here is asking how much am I earning from YouTube? Now, YouTube is not something which you should be focusing on earning because uh, yes, it's a decent income enough to pay maybe my uh, one month or two month of the internet bills. But apart from that, the earning from YouTube is no such charming thing. It's, it's not about earning, first of all, for me. Uh, I can live without the YouTube earning as well. Uh, but if you're just starting the YouTube for earning purpose, eventually you will be looking out for the sponsors aggressively, whatever they are just giving you, you'll take them. And regardless of how their product are, how the things are going on with them, you'll just uh, be sponsoring them in your videos. Uh, but this channel is not about taking sponsorship uh, from those people and just uh, uh, shamelessly uh, saying out that this is good, this is good, just take this product, take this product. No, this is more about adding value and trying to make sure that you understand programming and related tech uh, accordingly. So no, uh, I don't take much of the sponsors, although uh, I'm being uh, approached by a lot of sponsors in the recent week actually. Uh, almost six or seven has dropped me uh, email that they are looking to sponsor this channel. Uh, but again, uh, I'm not looking forward to work from them if they are not so good. If they can provide some value for the students or can give away for the students, definitely I can collaborate with them. But apart from that, if they are just uh, give, will be giving me money that, uh, hey, just uh, put out our name and say that you recommend that. No, uh, that's not I'm looking for and probably uh, not in the near future I'm going to be doing that. The next question that is being thrown at me, uh, tell me something about freelancing. Now, uh, with almost uh, 500 five-star ratings on the freelancer websites like Fiverr, Freelance and Upwork, uh, things are really good uh, with the freelancing as well. So definitely I'm planning very soon to start a series on freelancing 101 so that it can help people uh, 
to earn from the skills that they have but again the number one focus should be on learning the skills first and earning at a secondary stage because the more you'll be focusing on learning the technology it would be much more easier to earn big amount of money so yes definitely that's un also under the plan the freelancing 101 where uh, we, I'll be just uh, talking to you about how to get started in the freelancing, how to get your first client and what are the problems that you usually face and how to roll out an entire business model of freelancing work. So yes, that's going to come up very soon. Hey, why are you not so active on Twitter? Uh, I'm not so active in the Twitter and I admit that although Twitter is a really good way of uh, getting connected with the people. Probably in the future I'll do that but right now it's really tough for me to manage everything uh, because social media is kind of a magnet and uh, you just happen to spend a lot of time there so that's why I try to avoid them. I just go on to Facebook. I do maintain a Facebook page as well as my account uh, but account got filled with the 5000 uh, friends and now Facebook is not allowing me to add more friends. So I do manage a page as well. So yes, definitely in the future I'll try to get onto the Twitter, but it's really hard to manage these social media for me along with YouTube, the Facebook, uh, my clients, uh, freelancing stuff, courses. So it's pretty much a lot of things going on uh, for a one-man army. So definitely in the future I'll try to get onto the Twitter, but at, as of now there is no such plan. I'm more actively looking into the comment section of the YouTube rather and I'm looking up for your suggestions, your questions and trying to answer them either directly there or maybe in the upcoming future videos as well. Are you an iPhone user or Android user? Uh, I was an iPhone user till iPhone 6 I guess and then I moved into I, uh, OnePlus 3T. So right now currently I'm an Android user and I'm enjoying the experience so far uh, but most of, my, most of the time right now my daily driver is an Android. So yes, I'm an Android guy right now. Uh, but again, there is no such thing as Android is best or iPhone is best until and unless it just performs really well and just serves me what I need, which is mail most of the time. So Gmail app is awesome that I use and right now I'm an Android user. The next question that is being thrown to me at my Facebook page quite a lot of time is uh, how, why do you actually travel so much? Now uh, traveling is something which is uh, really fascinating for me. I love to travel. I have traveled at various weird places in the country as well as uh, all over the globe as well. So traveling is one of my favorite thing. Just like some people are fan of gadgets, some people are fan of Java, some people are fan of iOS. Uh, that's why I'm a big fan of traveling because it gives me a little bit more clarity of the idea. And uh, again, uh, you get interacted with so much of the culture that I can even make a full video series on traveling and what are the benefits of the traveling. And yes, I do travel a lot. Uh, recently, my travel was Egypt and Jordan, which I enjoyed a lot. There are a few upcoming plans to travel alongside with the boot camps as well. So I'll be keep posting about uh, where the travel plans are going on and how am I doing with that. So keep stay there and I'll be talking about that. Now coming up to the LCO part, which is Learn Code Online. So what kind of future things are going to be hosted at Learn Code Online? Now, previously what I was doing whenever I needed a helping hand for writing maybe blogs or some text or to design some graphics, I was posting all these things onto the freelancer and Upwork websites uh, so that I can get a helping hand uh, in an affordable range. But uh, later on I decided that uh, why to just post all of these work on the freelancer and other website. I can ask first of all my students uh, that if they are free and uh, ready to do these work for X amount of money and if you can provide me some portfolio or your peers work or maybe you just want to give me a sample then obviously I can uh, give that project to you and to my surprise it was really an amazing response uh, recently I needed a helping hand uh, so that we can write some blog post uh, on the recent blog at Learn Code Online so that we can serve more users about some information now it is not always uh, necessary to make videos on some small topics rather writing a blog and putting that information is far more easier in that case so uh, I, I thought that let's just post an email to a few students that hey if you are ready to do this kind of job for this kind of amount of money uh, just let me know in the, in the mail uh, reply back and to my surprise I posted that uh, 4 in the morning I didn't sleep that night so in the 4 of the morning I shot that email and to my surprise, by I woke up at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, everybody was just shooting me up the email 
few of them were really amazing few of them were not so amazing i'll talk about that later in one one of the video i have a video planned for that but yes uh, that was an amazing response so i have decided that i'll be posting all these future works and projects to the student for x amount of money and probably you can help me with that now there is one more exciting update here which is about uh, earning money with the competition so I have decided that uh, we will be hosting a few competitions uh, for the Learn Code Online competitions like making an awesome graphic or ma making an awesome app or making an awesome website and based on whose website is going to be the best the cleanest code possible being written there uh, we'll be uh, rewarding some money and certificates as well the money is going to be way higher than uh, what you are paying at Learn Code Online in buying the course so on an average uh, it's just like 800 to 1000 rupees uh, on an average for a price of the course the prize money is going to be started from 2000 to 10000 or maybe more uh, based on what kind of competition is that so right now is a good time to get started learning wherever you want to uh, these competition will be independent of wherever you are learning uh, it doesn't really matter you might be learning on other website or learn code online it will be independent of that and we'll be hosting down these competition Shortly, I'll come up with a dedicated videos talking all about these competitions in detail. So stay tuned, do hit the subscribe button for knowing more of these competitions and why we are hosting these competitions instead of uh, giveaways on this channel, uh, that is also going to be discussed later on. But I think this is a pretty long videos and a conversational videos rather than my other videos. So keep learning and uh, I'll be making separate videos explaining these things in detail. There is a lot of things going on. Uh, so definitely we'll do that later on but thank you again thank you so much for uh, making this channel a really good hit and we have hit 30,000 subscribers so from my wholehearted uh, this is an, a very very awesome uh, thanks to all of you for making this channel possible and even a hit channel so thank you so much and I'll surely catch you up in the next video till then keep learning